in studio, Opal Covey. It's uh, the first time I've had a chance to meet you, Opal. Thanks for coming in today. Hi, Scott. How are you? I am well. I am well. Now, you just handed me something. Is this is this really going to be your, your big campaign slogan, Toledo is sitting on a gold mine? Yes, yes. They're not making the money like they should be to pay their bills. Okay, so so what is exactly the gold mine? Is it is it actual gold or is it just a revenue Well, stream? no, it's not a gold. It's a spiritual meaning that if um, we start putting in amusement the amusement park you know down at promenade when right. i talk about it there that's the first thing i'm going to do when i take the seat uh they're not all around the city all this land that has been laying um empty it's been waiting on me and it's been 15 years since i've been running for mayor okay so the first thing you're going to do day one is put the amusement park that, in. yes are yes. you are you going to build it yourself or are you a great builder like donald trump well, I'm a, I'm a good builder. I put in four businesses uh, debt-free uh, since I've been in Toledo. Uh, but we're gonna, I'm going to have to get other help, you know, like the Six Flags or, or um, Walt Disney. Right. You know, they can do that on a percentage basis, and it's very easy. And get that done first, and then I'll start drawing people into the city, which is the purpose of that. How much will this amusement park cost to build? Uh, this... this really doesn't matter in one sense because they well, will it do it. It, it will and does. it won't. Yeah, but it, uh, it, Toledo's not going to have to be responsible for that. Or is somebody just going to build the amusement park yes. in hopes that it, that it gets paid off? Uh, it, they will build it, like I said, on a percentage basis of the profits. Who will? Uh, whoever I choose, whoever that I give the contract to. Like Six Flags Six or, Flags, or whoever is the best deal. So even with competitors like Cedar Point in the area, that's not going to be a consideration to build an amusement park an hour and a half away from, from such a big draw like Cedar Point is. Well, uh, we will be a small Cedar Point. We, uh, we actually will be in competition, and that's going to make us all feel good. So, so if we're in competition with Cedar Point, why would tourists come here to Toledo to a smaller Cedar Point when they could go an hour further and get a better Cedar Point? Well, it's awful expensive. And this one, uh, our small Cedar Point here in Toledo, is going to be less expensive where families can come with their children uh, and give the underprivileged and the poorer people, you know, uh, something to do. Right, and I, and I think affordable family fun affordable. Is, is, some, is something very important, which is why we've got great things like the, the Toledo Zoo and the, the, the Children's Museum yes. downtown, great uh, family activities. But in order to pay for the construction of an amusement park, you're going to have to charge enough to, to pay for that, offset that cost, and still generate tax revenue. How are you going to do that and keep costs low? Keep costs low? Mm -hmm. It is because automatically when you, you put in amusement, which this is what Toledo is lacking. Right. It, this is uh, the piece of the pie that's lacking is entertainment. So therefore, when you get it started, and, and uh, small businesses. I'm working on getting small businesses coming into town again. Right. Because I used to be small business. And, and the thing about it is small businesses will just come in automatically when they see good revenue come in, you know, profits. It's going to be popping up everywhere. It's going to be explosion. We're going to have businesses all over the city. So, so how, many people, how many people would need to come through the amusement park on an annual basis to offset that cost? and generate enough well, uh, tax I, revenue I, for the city. I would hope millions. Maybe millions. Yes, it's going to be it's going to be a great prosperity. And, and if millions and, of tourists are coming through Toledo, where would they be staying because we don't have the hotel infrastructure for millions the, of people. Now wait a minute, Scott. We do have the hotel infrastructure. For for millions of people? Yes. I mean for well, they're not gonna be millions here every day, but yearly on the yearly basis, you know, um well let's say if uh five or ten million people come in, which they could come in from foreign countries too. Right. We're, going, we're going to advertise this on TV just like all the other states do. And and which also worldwide. which also costs money. Where is that advertising money going to come from? Well, we're going to get we're going to live daily. Uh, well, now I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to be perfectly honest. We have so much bilking and stealing downtown. When I get there, I'm an honest person. I, I'm sure and you it's are. It's going to turn on an honest seat. Specifically, where are where is the government bilking us of money? Can you tell me in where? In your pockets. Uh, where uh, specifically? In what department? And how much money is being well, bilked from us? Well, I don't know how much money. I've, I mean, you know, you can't go up and say how much have you been bilking. Have stuff. you looked at the but city for budget? Instant, you, you, well, the city budget. Uh, when they're taking money out of the city budget and and, and doing something with it, buying up land. All of these million dollars 
that's they're buying you all this I, land. I, I may so, actually agree with you on that. Yeah. We shouldn't be buying all this land. No, that is kind I of a waste be of money. I wouldn't that. I put I put my stakes. You you in would the be wasting property. money on an amusement park. No, I would not. And, no. and how quickly would this amusement park be built? The first year, I'm hoping to be have the first one. The Which first is, one. So you're planning multiple amusement parks. Yes, sir. And, and, and the first entire amusement park is going to be park. built within the first year. Water park. Water park where on, the Marina District is. On Promenade Park's pro property. Well, uh, on Promenade Park, yes, is the amusement park. That's the start. Working in conjunction. in. Working in conjunction with the parking garage at, at No, at, at I'm not Promenza. worried about that parking garage because it's going to go. It's going to go away. I, I, I don't believe it can since they've already started to move well, forward on it, that. It, it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's, at at it's, some point, it is going to matter, Opal. Yeah, but let me put it to you this way. Even if I have something in my way like that, but I don't receive it, because God has already given me the vision of the amusement park, that that is supposed to be there, not ProMedica. He gave me that vision 15 years ago. Opal, you're talking about He's wanting to have you're, you're talking about wanting to have jobs move in and all the all this employment come into the city of Toledo and people coming into the city. But at the same time, you're talking about running away one of the biggest employers in the area in ProMedica. You Pro can't have it both no ways. business down there. You cannot mix this type of ProMedica and 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 you know entity with uh, recreation. That waterfront down there is only for recreation, not ProMedica. Why is it only for recreation? Because it's a waterfront. God said it was. And I say it is. So Any, any human being so, with a mind So knows, there, there should not be any business along the waterfront whatsoever? Not not like ProMedica and stuff like that. A bank is fine. and, and, and the. Uh, why is a bank fine, but ProMedica is not? And why would well, you chase away a large employer like ProMedica Pro Pro from downtown and send them to a the suburb is, and send that tax base outside of the city? ProMedica is not supposed to be down there. That is that is a fact. They're not. It's supposed to be down there. And the only reason that they're down there is because the Democrats is fighting me hard to get me out of town and quit my plan. But I'm not going to do it. And this is a Who? device to try to run me out. The ProMedica plan is a device yes, to run you out of town. it is a device from the devil to run me out. And I'm going to tell you straight out. And I'm telling, and I'm going to say to the city council that's listening to me right now, you don't need to keep putting these uh, things in my way to throw me out of the city because I'm not going. I am going on that seat. Talking with Opal Covey during the break, we we found out that uh, I have almost as many cats as Opal does. Uh, you have four or five, something like that. You're, you're not exactly sure how many cats you have. That kind of yeah, worries me. Four or five. 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 Do you know their names? <laughs> Yes. Well, well, share it with us. Well, I'm getting to know you better, Opal. My, my cat's names are, are Tiger and Indy, and, and Gumbo lives in Indianapolis. What are your yeah. cat's names? Um, let's see, Coco, uh, Ginger, Rachel. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of it. Oh, Tiger. I got a tiger. You got a tiger, yeah, too? A tiger, yeah. yeah, and I got another one. Uh, Bimbo. And, and big, Bimbo? Big Bimbo. Oh, he's beautiful. He's one of those big gray ones. Now, none of these cats' names are any of your computer passwords, are they? Oh, no. No, that's not very secure. No. All right. So get, let's get back to business because mm -hmm. we're running uh, short on time. I, I'm disappointed to just now learn that you're not going to be in the Blade uh, UT mayoral debate. That's right. They, they didn't invite you to participate in that. Why? Well, uh, I, I think the reason why is is because... Uh, this is the way they've treated the city for all this time, and they tre uh, they're treating me very badly uh, right now because in, in 2012, um, my gift of knowledge, which God gave me, I uncovered a a um, money laundering between uh, Native, okay. Well, I don't uh, want to. I don't want that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't want to make any but accusations they're mad, like but they're that. They're mad at me, and and they did uh, they did put a bad picture in, and they don't put anything in here, uh, and they. They, uh, Opal, I can't just, imagine you would ever take a bad picture. No. no. Uh, <laughs> but, it, but anyway, the blade uh, yeah. uh, is democratic. It, it's very self-spoken sure. there. And well, uh, for them to put me, not let okay, me on well, that, it's not constitutional. I Well, it, it, a, it's, it has nothing to do with the Constitution. It's up to them who they want to invite to their own debate. But uh, I've got to ask you about issue one, which is on the municipal ballot today. Did you vote uh, yet today? No, I haven't. Will you will you vote today? I will. Okay. Yes. Oh, I always do. Just to make sure. What what district do you live in? Uh, district three. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, no no council uh, person on on the ballot for the primary for you. But issue one, uh, uh -huh. where do you stand on decriminalizing marijuana in in the city of Toledo? Well, I think I'm going to vote no on that uh, right now because uh, we just uh, 
we we really don't know a whole lot about marijuana and uh, you know it's it's, it's kind of like uh, alcohol and um, uh, smoking and anything of vices like that right. a, a person can can actually be killed or anything you can you know crime can go on and, and things I just don't want it to be decriminalized right at this point Have you ever smoke pot no, I've never, I mean, I wouldn't hold that against you. No, I've never taken drugs like that. No. Now, you ever drink? Ever smoke? No, nothing. I smoked till I was like twenty-one or something like that. Right. But uh, no, I don't drink or anything like that. All right. Have you been following this controversy over the plants that were in the median by the Toledo Zoo uh, yes. that that were just mowed down? Yes. Can I, you can you put that into perspective? Where do you stand on 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 cutting weeds down uh, from the the zoo and 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 that whole uh, money that that was spent putting the the, the plants there? to attract bees and, and butterflies. Well, the thing of it is, uh, the whole thing that I think is really wrong is because our mayor did not get communi communications with the zoo. Uh, before I do anything, I'm going to talk to the other party and see what they think and, and how they react. And she should have gotten together with the zoo and, and talked about, they're, they're really not weeds, they're actually uh, flowers, you know, right. nature, right. nature. I love nature. And I would have never ordered those cut down without uh, getting hold of the other party, which is the zoo, mm -hmm. because they planted them there. They spent their money. There was, a, there was a reason for those plants to be there. Yes, a reason for those plants to be there. And I, I look at it this way. We're not only supposed to, to be in a box and have a closed mind where... Uh, where um, that you only want just certain kinds of plants or certain kinds of trees and this and that. We're supposed to enjoy the whole earth. And I see pleasure in all of the earth, and I love. I'm a nature person. What's your favorite animal at the Toledo Zoo? Oh, let's because you know this is a great like... insight into your personality. Yeah, I kind of like the monkeys. The monkeys. <laughs> I love monkeys. I always said when I was little, I would love to have a monkey, but I've never had that. All right. Well, we got to wrap things up, Opal. You're welcome on any time. Uh, we'll Thank continue you. to have these opportunities with all of the mayoral candidates mm -hmm. between now and and uh, in election day in November. So you're welcome on uh, every once in a while when we've got stuff to talk about. Just to, let's recap, what are your three priorities if you're elected mayor of the city of Toledo? My three priorities, of course, is the roads and the potholes and the water and, uh, you know, just everyday uh, normal living things that should be done. Right. And uh, so I, I'm very disgusted with how the water treatment has been going on. It's been neglected. Right, that's, okay, that's, that's one. one, that's one. Mm -hmm. And the potholes and things like that, and the blights. Right, that, is, that, is that two? So potholes and, well, and blight? Pro potholes in the roads, and then the blights. Okay, that's two, what's the third? The third is blights, Okay. housing blights. Okay, see, here's what's interesting. After all the talk about the amusement park, which is never going to happen, let's be it's honest. It's going to happen. You, you didn't list that as one of your top three priorities. So even well, you recognize that, how ridiculous it is. Well, now, wait a minute. It's not that fact. I was recognizing, I thought you was talking about repairs or, you know, uh, right. whatever I should do in the city. Right. But the amusement parking thing, I call it the, the out for infrastructure. In other words, uh, this this was the infrastructure that I was talking about that I thought you asked me for. Right. And I did it. So I you, said you, it. you pay for that's all those priorities by generating yeah, the revenue. Yes, that's parking. my infrastructure things. But then my infrastructure is bringing businesses in, building businesses, you right. know, bringing them in. Right. Less crime, more money, people. See, that's infrastructure. Bringing them into the do, city. Do you have a name for the amusement park? Um. I don't know. Everything has come up, and I don't... God's told you everything except the name? Well, he's kind of let me pick that out, but I'm not really sure. It could be Paradise, or it could be Opal Land. Opal Land! <laughs> it's, it's a special place living in Opal Land. We'll just rename the whole city.